Hey guys, Tom here. Welcome to episode 4 of the WWE 2K17 career mode and we're starting things off crazily because we have just attacked Zack Ryder. We were supposed to be making our entrance but we ch we decided to change it up a little bit for so for some reason we've just had a cutscene where we've attacked Zack Ryder. So this is the third match me and Ryder have had in the last two episodes. So in the last episode I beat Zack Ryder not once, but twice. But for some reason, we're having another match against Zack Ryder today. So let's see what happens. So we tried a sneak attack on him. But it doesn't actually seem like it worked out that well for us. Because so far, Zack Ryder has actually been pretty good in this match. But let's do a taunt. Oh god, he's coming after me. Oh god. Oh! That was not very nice. Oh my god, what the hell happened there? Come on, let's go get Zack Ryder. So we're currently locked in a rivalry with Zack Ryder. But we've beaten him twice already. So can we beat him for a third time? Because I really want to get rid of Zack Ryder. Because I'm staring at that NXT Championship. And it's almost got my name on it. So currently Samoa Joe has got the NXT Championship. But I want that NXT Championship. Because once I win that, I can move up to the main roster. So we want to kind of get rid of Zack Ryder pretty quickly. So if we can beat Zack Ryder in this match, that will go a long way. In moving up the ranking. So come on Zack Ryder. I want to beat you man. You're not great. I've already beat you twice before. Oh my god. That's a pure example where we want to move past Zack Ryder. He's not good for ratings. He can't even hit a top rope move where I was standing still. Who knows. But anyway here we go. Oh my god. He's reversed me again. Smash that like button guys for more my career mode videos. I know the last few days I was uploading universe mode. It's just because it gets a little bit more support on those videos. So if you guys want to see my career mode videos, I would love to know. What a great move from Zack Ryder. He's actually been pretty decent in this match. He's done more moves to me than he managed in the previous two matches we had together. So I'm not, I'm not I'm actually pretty impressed with this Zack Ryder. Here we go. We're on 58, oh, we're on 40%. Sorry, I was reading the wrong one. But Zack Daddy has ran out of reversals. So let's go get him. We can beat him up and he can't do anything about it. Here we go. Oh, nice. That was awesome. We're actually quite far behind. We're only on 53. How has he got 64% already? I have no idea. Let's kick him in the legs. There we go. Let's get him. Uh. Yeah, fuck you, Zack Ryder. Yeah, there we go. We're, we're playing that horrible heel character. Oh, what a clothesline. Awesome stuff. Uh. Come on, take that, Zack Ryder. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Uh. Take that. Nice. Oh, yeah. We're on 92% already, which isn't too shabby. What are we going to do here? What is it? What is it? It's, is it the world's strongest slam? Oh my god, it's a fall away slam right into the ropes. That was pretty awesome. And we've also got our signature as well. Should we go for it? Oh, we need him to be on the ground. To be fair though, we have got the choke slam as our other signature. But we can go for this one. Should we go for it? Here we go. The wheelbarrow slam. Are you ready? That's just what I call it. I don't actually know what the real name of it is, but it kind of looks like a wheelbarrow slam. So that's what we call it on this uni uh, on this career mode, not the universe mode. Right, we're looking for it. We're looking for the Phoenix Splash, because that's our finisher. If you've watched an episode before, you would know that. But the Phoenix Splash has made us undefeated so far in this career mode, which is pretty good. Not too bad for a rookie. Should we go for it? Let's go for the Phoenix Splash from the second rope. Are you ready? Ooh, that was awesome. Let's go for the pin. Come on. Come on, Tom. Here we go. One, two, and he kicks out at two. And Zack Ryder has got his comeback move. He has got his comeback move, so we've got to watch out for that one. But so far, not too bad. We've been pretty decent, so it hasn't been awful. It's not been great. It's been all right. Oh, shit. What is he doing? Is he going for the broski boot? I think he's going for the broski boot. Oh, shit. He is as well. Here he goes. Woo. Woo. Oh, right into the glasses. That's not nice at all. Ah, he's off for the pin. He's off for the pin. That's the first time he's actually hit that on us in the three matches we've had. So he's not doing too bad. But he's got a rough rider, which could be pretty dangerous. Get off me, Zach. Ah. I don't want to lose. Oh, God. Here he goes. 
He's off for it. He's off for it. The Rough Rider. Oh, we've reversed it. Nice. Oh, God. He's reversed that. Oh, my God. We've just gone straight into the ropes. That was horrible, but we're straight back up. We've just completely no-sold it. Should we go for the choke slam? Let's go for it. There we go. We've got it in. Oh! That was great. Right. Should we go for the second Phoenix Splash? Here we go. Can we reach him from there? Oh, yes, we can. There we go. Let's go for the pin. Oh, we'll, we'll get a cheeky replay. We might as well. Can't be arsed. Let's go for the pin. Let's go for it. One. Two. There we go. Zack Ryder, three times in a row. We've beaten him. That was awesome. Mission accomplished. How many is that? Five matches and five wins. He tried it with the Broski boot. He tried it with the Rough Rider. But we're just too good for him. And he can't admit it. We're just too good. There we go. The choke slam. And then we pinned him from the Phoenix Splash. We're just that damn good, people. And he loves it. Look at it. Oh, my God. What a great sight. Nice. Oh, here we go. We've got our first backstage interview on the series. We, we're, in, we're in episode four, and we are finally get an interview backstage. I mean, I am the main event, so it's about time. Some would say you are showing a different side of yourself lately. Do you find that to be true? Um, yeah, let's go for I'm tired of being nice. Let's go for that one. Of course, isn't it obvious? Caring about the WWE Universe did nothing for me. Being a nice guy did nothing for me. From here on out, I'm only thinking about me. That title is the most important thing, not the WWE Universe. You want to see what I do next. Awesome. Great promo. Okay, so the next match, we are up against Tyson Kidd. Now, Tyson Kidd is actually ranked below us. So he's ranked 6 and we're ranked number 5. We haven't moved from that number five spot since we actually came to NXT. So I don't know what's up with that. Maybe once we finished our rivalry with Zack Ryder, we can maybe call out somebody else. Like I think there's like Bo Dallas. Let's have a look. There's Bo Dallas, Hideo Itami, Scott Dawson, and Sami Zayn that we could possibly call out. I'm not sure you can actually call out the champion until you're further up in the rankings because he probably won't reply to us. He'll just ignore us. So if we can perform well, in this match against Tyson Kidd, though, that could be pretty decent. So let's get into this match against Tyson Kidd. Okay, here we go, people. I've never actually seen Tyson Kidd in this year's game. So this is new to me, which is pretty cool. But I have a question for you guys, which I thought of once I was waiting for this match to start. Now, every time you start a show on My Career Mode, and I think it's the same on Universe Mode as well... You have to watch the opening intro. Now, is there a way to take that off? Can you take it off? Can somebody tell me if you can take it off, turn it off? Because you have to watch the same opening intro every time. Like, do I want to watch the main event intro every time I want to be on main event? Because it's really outdated as well. And it's like a waste of like two minutes of my time when I could be playing matches. So if anybody knows, oh my god, what a great move. And if anybody knows how to remove the opening intros on my career mode, even if you can't, just tell me if you can't. But I just want to know because it's really annoying and it's so pointless. What the hell is Tyson Kidd doing? He's just raked my eyes. I kind of miss Tyson. Oh my god, he's got some great moves in this game. I kind of miss Tyson Kidd because he had a great tag team with Cesaro. And then he just disappeared because I think he broke his neck with... Thanks to Samoa Joe, something like that. But um, he used to be pretty entertaining with Cesaro. Oh, God. Oh, God. What the hell? I can't get out of it. Oh, my God. What? Oh, my God. That is awful. Holy shit. I just couldn't escape. Tyson Kidd gives us our first loss in the career mode with a submission. What? That's crazy. Oh, my God. What a statement. From Tyson Kidd. That was crazy. That took me so much by surprise. I was just talking about how I like Tyson Kidd. And then he makes me tap out. Dreadful. Okay, people. So before we have our next match on NXT, which is actually against the NXT champion Samoa Joe. So we lose against Tyson Kidd and we get rewarded with a match against Samoa Joe, the NXT champion. So before we get in that match, we've actually got a promo a self-promotion promo 
in front of the NXT crowd. So I've got sarcasm to silence you. Sounds like a pretty decent line. What an in illustrious, elegant crowd we have tonight. I mean, really, the best of the best clearly come out for these shows. In case you idiots can't read between the lines, I'm being sarcastic. Right, what's the, le what's the next line? You don't respect me. That seems like a good one. I bust my ass in the ring every night and never... And you never cheer me. Oh, well, how poor is that? Instead, you just keep telling me I suck. Well, guess what? You're the ones who suck. I don't suck. I'm great. And you will respect me. What a great promo. What else have we got? I'm tired of getting passed over. Hmm. I will not be disrespected. Seems like that makes sense. There we go. I, go, I got backstage tonight and realized that I didn't have my own personal locker. Oh, Tom. I always get my own locker room. That kind of disrespect will no longer be tolerated. I like how he thinks that that's the crowd's fault. <laughs> yeah, nice one. Right. I hear the sounds of pain in my head. Um, I, that sounds like a pretty decent one. That makes me sound really weird. Crash, bam, boom, slash. These are the sounds I hear in my head. I hear pain constantly. I hear travesty and tragedy. And that will inform every emotion I ever have in this ring. God, he's gone crazy. Consider this my final warning. Seems like a pretty decent one. Strong reaction as well. So this is actually being considered a pretty good chrome promo. Consider this my final warming. War blah, warning. Blah, blah, blah. There we go. Pretty decent promo. We get a lot of VC for that as well. 2,800. Let's move on to our match against Samoa Joe. Here we go. Samoa Joe, the NXT champion against Tom Cushney. What's happening here? What's he looking at? Is it? Oh, it is Zack Ryder. What is he doing with that stupid smug smirk on his face? What is he doing? Get away from my match. I need to win this match against Samoa Joe. This is like the most important match we have had so far on the career mode. And buddy Zack Daddy is out here trying to distract me. So I don't know what he's playing at. But let's see what we can do. Let's see if we can beat the NXT champion... Whilst containing Zack Ryder at ringside. This could be pretty tough. But we're going to try and do it. I mean, if there's one guy that can do it, it's Tom Cushney. I'm pretty sure of that. What is he doing? He sat down on a chair. I have never seen that before. He genuinely is sat down on a chair. Have you seen this, people? He's actually sat down on a chair. Like what? <laughs> I've never seen that before. That's, that's madness. Absolute madness. Jesus. I mean, it's a bit more realistic, because in last year's game, they just kind of, like, stood and looked really awkward at ringside. So it kind of makes a little bit of sense, but it's just kind of weird they added that in. He's just, like, sat on a chair. So, yeah, if we can beat Samoa Joe here, that would be pretty decent, because we just had, like, a huge loss. Our first loss against Tyson Kidd. So it'd be great to bounce back from that with a win against the champ, Samoa Joe. I mean, that would be pretty good, wouldn't it? Oh my god, as if I could as if I could lift and carry Samoa Joe. That is madness. Too much madness happening in one match, I think. I mean, I don't even know why we've got this match in the first place. But here we go. What should we do? Should we do Snake Eyes? Oh, he's reversed it. What a nice ooh, what a nice guy. Samoa Joe does look pretty good in this game though, doesn't he? Wow. What a great move. Ugh. Oh, what the hell? That was a really weird reversal. And he's ran out of reversals as well, but so have high. Which is really annoying. Oh, T-bone suplex. Come on, I really want this reversal back. What is he going for? I thought he was off of the pop-up powerbomb there. Oh my god. Still looks pretty painful. Could be even more painful than the pop-up powerbomb. Here we go, he's run out of reversals. There we go, he's down. Samoa Joe is down. Oh. And he's down again. What's, what's Zack Daddy doing? Oh, I still watch him. Can we attack him? Nah, we can't even hit him. That sucks. I don't know what this means. Oh my god, rock bottom. <laughs> On the outside. What? <laughs> There's only me that would have the audacity to do that to Samoa Joe. Right, we're on 51%, which is... Oh, what the hell? Here we go. What the hell's happening here? Is Zack Ryder going to do... What, what? Why is there another chair? Why is there another chair? What is happening? 
Oh, here he goes. Some Oh, cheap shot. I don't know why there's another chair. No idea. But the match continues. The chair has now moved. Right, we're on one count. That's alright. Let's get back in the ring. Oh! Oh, nice reversal. But we've run out of them. Samoa Joe's got a finisher as well. How the hell did he get that? That is a bit cheeky. I have no idea how he's now got his muscle buster. Because that could, like, break our neck or something crazy. I mean, if we don't win here, we are fucked. Because, is he off for it? What's he off for? Oh my god! That was awesome. That was like a backwards TKO. That looked great. Bloody Zack Ryder stood up now. I bet he is. Oh. Oh. What's Samoa Joe doing? What is... What is he doing? He's not off for the cheap shot again. Oh! That was very, very cheap for a champion. You are very nasty, aren't you, Joe? I can't believe he's got his finisher. How cheap is that? Oh! Another cheap shot. Right in the groin. There we go. We're fighting back. Nice! And we've got our signature. Should we go for the choke slam on Samoa Joe? What the hell? Can we actually do it? Oh, Jesus. Oh, my God. The referee's gone flying. I don't care. Let's go for it. Phoenix Splash. There we go. Let's go for the pin. The referee's down. Oh, and he kicks out a one as well. Bloody referees. They're useless. Absolutely useless. Oh, my God. He's got a signature as well. How the hell did he get that? Signature and a finisher. We could potentially be looking at two muscle busters to Tom Kushney. Oh, there we go. Nice. Let's do a taunt. Look, we're on fully red as well, which is madness. This is not good. I mean, this is a this is a huge match. I really want to win this match, but like this, this it's just stacked against us, isn't it? Like Samoa Joe could potentially have two muscle busters in his locker in about a minute's time. We're on almost fully red all over the body. We've got one reversal left. Zack Ryder's out at ringside because he's an absolute dickhead. I don't know. Right, we're on 75%, which isn't too shabby. What are we doing? What is this move? Is this... Oh, my God. Oh, my God. We actually did that to Samoa Joe. I mean, to be fair, though, if we can hit our Phoenix Splash for a second time, we can have actually a decent chance of winning. Right, should we go for the wheelbarrow slam? Are you ready, people? Here we go. He's not reversed it, I don't think. Here we go. On Samoa Joe. Oh, that was nice. Should we go for it? Phoenix splash time. He's rolling over for us. Here we go. Oh, no. He's bloody moved out of the way. Oh, crap. Oh, shit. He's just looking at me. He's giving me the evils. Oh, crap. This has not gone well. And I can't even jump on the outside. Damn. This has gone terribly. Can we jump off this? Can we? Let's try it. Oh, yes, we can. There we go. So we can't jump off the top rope, but we can do something ridiculous like that. I mean... Anyway, he's got two finishes. He should probably lose one of them soon, because he hasn't... He's had it for a while, and they disappear after a while, I think. So we might be okay. But this is a pretty decent match so far. Four stars... There we go, he's on the ropes. I wasn't just spamming the punch button. I wanted to, I wanted to get him on the ropes and do that, because that was awesome. Oh, 58%, come on. We need one Phoenix Splash, and we'll be absolutely fine. I'm guessing. I'm hoping. Right, I'll offer a power bomb on this behemoth of a man, Samoa Joe. I don't know how we managed to do that. Right, is he reversed that? He bloody well has. There we go. We're out the ring. Awesome. Oh. This camera angle is just so weird. Right, let's get back in the ring. Let's go. The NXT champion. What is he doing now? What is... Oh, God. He's off for that. Oh, jeez. T-bone suplex again. We really could do with beating Samoa Joe here. The bloody NXT champion. We've been a lot better than Samoa Joe. I mean, he got gifted that finisher. There we go. 
Oh, right on Samoa Joe. I don't even know how he did that. I don't even know how we're doing most of these moves. It's unbelievable. Just proves what a kind of athlete we are. Here we go. Choke slam. He hasn't reversed it this time. He hasn't reversed it this time. Here we go. Have you got enough stamina to do it? We haven't. Come on. There we go. There we go. Boom. Nice. There we go. Let's go for the pin. Come on, referee. Come on, referee. One. Two. Oh, no. He's kicked out again. But he's used the finisher up in that kick out, which is good. He's lost the finisher, so he's only got one. So he might actually be able to kick out of one of them. Oh, nice neck breaker. This is a great match, by the way. Also, if you guys are wondering, when is the ne when is the pay-per-view? I was looking at the calendar, and next episode will have the pay-per-view match. I'm guessing it's going to be against Zack Ryder. Shit, nice reversal. So, I think we've got another main event match, and then we've got the NXT TakeOver match against Zack Ryder. So that'll be in next episode, which is going to be good. Right, he's got signature again. Shit. Oh, here he goes. Oh, no. No. It's a pretty awesome signature, to be fair. Oh. Oh, shit. Look how small the bar is. Oh, crap. It's gone tits up. We haven't even won a match this episode. So I'm going to blame it on Zack Ryder. That's what I'm going to do. That was a pretty cool choke slam, though. That was a pretty cool move. Ah. Did we hit two Phoenix splashes in that match? And we still couldn't get the win. I mean, he's looking pretty chuffed with himself, but... That was all Zack Ryder's fault. Bloody Zack Ryder. If he didn't distract me... He's just, like, walking past him. What the heck? <laughs> there we go, people. Bloody Zack Ryder. What an absolute nonce. So, on the next episode, we've got another match against Zack Ryder. And then we'll have the pay-per-view big blow-off match, I'm guessing, against Zack Ryder. So, I'm just looking at the rankings, and we are still ranked number 5 for the NXT Championship. Which isn't good, but Zack Ryder is... He's not even on the list anymore. He was number 10 last episode. So, in the next episode, we'll have a match against Zack Ryder, I'm guessing twice. So, there you go. Watch out for that one. Smash the likes, people. Take care. Spike your hair.